In this video, we will choose numbers with the particular sum. Okay, so first things first, a sum means that we are adding two numbers. All right, so sum means addition. All right, so which two numbers have a sum of 51? Okay, so the first thing that we should do is eliminate any numbers that we know can't be correct. So when I'm looking at our choices, 11, 31, 50, and 40, I know that 50, you'd only have to add one to it to get to 51, and one's not an option. So I'm automatically going to go ahead and cross out 50. All right, next, I'm just going to go across and see what our numbers are. So what would I add to 11 to get to 51? So to find that out, I would do 51 minus 11 equals, one minus one is zero, five minus one is four, equals 40, okay? Are one of our options 40? Yes, it is, okay? So our, we know that our two numbers that have a sum of 51 are going to be 40 and 11. Which two numbers have a sum of 42? All right, so let's see. We can't just automatically eliminate any of these because none of them are bigger than 42 or super close to 42. So we just have to kind of go across and guess. All right, so let's see. What would 42 minus 26 be? And the reason that we're doing 42 minus 26 is because the answer to 42 minus 26 is going to be what we would add to 26 to get to 42. So we're doing, we're sort of doing reverse engineering to figure out what we would add to 26 to get to 42. All right, so. All right, so to get to 42, we would add 16 to 26. Okay, so is 16 an option? Yes, it is. So we got lucky this time, and our answer is going to be 26 plus 16. And then if we want, we could also double check. So let's just go ahead and do 26 plus 16. Make sure that it gets us our answer that we want. 6 plus 6 is 12. This one is 3 plus 1 equals 4. So our answer here, our sum is 42. So our two answers are 26 and 16. All right, what two numbers have a sum of 45? All right, so we are going to have to do our reverse and do subtraction again to figure out which numbers you'd add to these to get to 45. All right, so let's start in the middle this time. So 45 minus 35 equals 10. Okay, so you'd add 10 to 35 to get to 45. Is 10 an option anywhere? No, it's not. So we know that our number is not 35. All right, what would we have to add to 24 to get to 35? 45, sorry. Okay, so we do 45 minus 24. Five minus four is one. Four minus two is two. Okay, so we'd add 21 and 24 together to get to 45. Is 21 an option anywhere besides here? And it is not, so we know it's not 24. So that leaves us with 32 and 13. So let's just double check. It's 32 plus 13, 45, let's see, and it is. Okay, so our two answers are 32 and 13. Awesome, all right. Which two numbers have a sum of 69? All right, so none of these can be automatically eliminated, so we have to kind of go through them. So what would we add to 13 to get to 69? Let's see, so 69 minus 13 equals 56. Okay, is that an option here? No, it's not, so we know our answer is not 13. All right, what would we add to 37 to get to 69? Let's find out. 69 minus 37 is 32. Is that an option? It is not, so we know that it's not 37. 
Okay, so our two numbers left are 41 and 28, so let's go ahead and check those. One plus eight is nine, four plus two is six, and that is 69. So we know that the two numbers that have a sum of 69 are 28 and 41. Which two numbers have a sum of 15? Okay, so automatically, I know that we can eliminate 18 because it's bigger than 15, so there's no number that we can add to it to get to 15. Okay, so we can eliminate 18 right away. So then I'm going to go ahead and say, what number would I add to two to get to 15? So I'm going to do 15 minus two is 13. Okay, and then I look here and I see that 13 is right here. So our answers are two and 13. Which two numbers have a sum of 22? 46, five, 17, or 24? All right, so automatically I know that I can eliminate 46 because I'm not going to add to a bigger number than 22 to get to 22. All right, and then I'm just going to, oh, and also we can eliminate 24 because 24 is bigger than 22. So that made our job really easy and left us with five and 17. So let's just double check our answers. 17 plus five equals 22. Beautiful. All right, which two numbers have a sum of 48? Okay, so for this one, I can kind of do a lot of this in my head actually. So 48 minus 47, I know would be one. So without actually doing any further math, I know 48 minus one is 47. Okay, so that's our answer. 47 plus one is 48. Which two numbers have a sum of 46? All right, so none of these can be automatically eliminated, so we're going to have to do our math. All right, so what would I add to 15 to get to 46? Let's see, 46 minus 15 equals 31. Is 31 an option? Yes, it is. Okay, so 15 plus 31 is 46. Great job. All right. What two numbers have a sum of 60? Okay, so I can't just eliminate these, so I'm going to have to do the work. So let's go and start over here. 60 minus 11 is 49, which is not an option. All right, 60 minus 16, let's see, is 44. Is that an option? Yes, it is. So our answers are 16 plus 44 has a sum of 60. Which two numbers have a sum of 49? All right, so I can look at these pretty automatically and say that if you add nine to any of these is not the correct answer. So I am going to go ahead and automatically eliminate nine because if you add nine to any of these numbers, the number is still going to be less than 49. All right, so that said, 49 minus 27 is 22. Is that an option? It sure is. So our answer is 27 and 22 have a sum of 49.